Hey everyone, sportsbookreview.com here. This is your home of the College Football Bowls. I'm Flash and I'm going to get straight out of the way because we've got College Football Royalty in the house. We've got DJ Big Boss and we've got the king himself, Mr. Ragu. We're going to Bakaraton this weekend. I've been looking forward to saying that with SMU at 10 and 2. Up against the home side, normally a neutral venue, but not in this case. And their lane, Kiffinless. Calls all the uh, offensive plays. What are they going to do now? They're getting three and a half with bookmakers. If you fall on that side, go over to sportsbookreview.com forward slash bookmaker for everything you need to know. Ragu, where do you lie? Hey, good morning, guys. Listen, really simple here in this game. Not simple in a sense where you're going to pick a winner, but to break the game down, it goes like this. you got two teams that can score a ton of points. Sonny Dykes and Bouchelle, they light up the scoreboard as does uh, Lane Kiffin and his crew down there in, uh, in Boca Raton. So the, the key to me, the key for me in this game is to kind of slow down the SMU offense uh, with uh, the takeaways that uh, FAU has been number one in the nation with 31. If they don't take the ball away from that team or slow them down, this game is going to be all SMU as far as points go. Now, um, as far as a, a side goes, I'm definitely going to be on the SMU side because of the fact that Lane Kiff is not going to be there to call the plays. And who knows what the morale of this team is going to be come uh, game time on Saturday. DJ Big Boss, there's two of us here on SMU. Are you going to buck the trend? Now, when it comes down to a side flash, on the side side of things, like you say, we can't trust what's going on with uh, Lane Kiffin leaving over there. We don't know how the player's going to rag, but we have to remember that uh, they still were recruited by him. They still are, are talented uh, players, so we can't just say that just without the coach. But he did hold the keys to the playbook, so that means a lot. But that's running me off of a side. This SMU is uh, real worthy of, uh, of finishing off the season with a good win right here. Both teams, 10 wins, uh FAU is 10 and 3, SMU is 10 and 2, but uh the impressive thing about both teams is the offense. Together combined these two offenses are averaging almost uh well averaging 900 yards. And uh, on defense, they still giving up about 800 yards. So, uh, you know, and normally in this situation right here, two teams that are uh, equally talented, I usually uh, go the opposite, which would be under. But in the bowl game right here, I'm going to let the, the numbers do the work right here. And it's just too much green lit up on the page in offense for to uh, go any other way but over in this game. DJ Big Boss goes over the 70 and a half and myself and the Ragu, we go with SMU at minus three. Until next time, join us again for more College Bowls.